Hi guys, I'm Arbel from Job Test Prep, and in this video we'll talk about the Matrigma test. Let's go! The Matrigma test assesses your cognitive ability through abstract questions. In these questions, you will need to find the underlying pattern in a series of images and pick the one that completes it. The test is especially popular in Sweden, although its non-verbal nature has made it popular all over the world. The classic version of the Matrigma contains 35 questions to be solved in 40 minutes. There is also a shorter version, known as Matrigma 2, with 12 questions in 12 minutes. The Matrigma 2 is considered harder and is also adaptive, meaning that the difficulty of the questions increases when you succeed and decreases when you fail. All Matrigma questions have the exact same format of a 3x3 matrix. The underlying rule of that matrix can be defined by the rows, columns, or both. The top two rows and the two left columns are complete and that is where you will find the logical rule of the matrix. You will need to apply that rule to the missing shape in the bottom row and the rightmost column. You have one task at the Matrigma test. Recognize the pattern. After that, everything is pretty easy. When encountering a Matrigma question for the first time, the pattern usually takes a long time to recognize, especially on the more challenging questions that combine both columns and rows. Getting familiar with the common logical rules of the test in advance will prove very useful in recognizing them in real time, increasing both accuracy and solving speed, which ultimately means a higher score. As I've mentioned, the shapes in each matrix follow a specific rule. Although the number of rules is virtually infinite, these are the top five ones used in the test. Progression, Rotation, Frequency, Motion, and Construction. To further explore these five rules, including a sample question for each, with a full detailed solution, check out our Matrigma info page. Here are three brief tips to consider when practicing and taking the real Matrigma test. Number one, split your search. The sample questions I've presented here are much simpler than those given in the actual test. Encompassing all the information in a single Matrigma question at once is a very challenging task. That's why you should try and look at only one element at a time. Scan the rows first, then the columns, looking for each of the five common rules separately. Number two, skip questions and come back later. The Matrigma test allows you to skip questions and return to them later, a feature not many psychometry tests have. Take advantage of that possibility and set yourself a time limit after which you leave the question unanswered and return to it later. With some practice, you will know what the time limit should be. Number three, guessing is better than nothing. You don't lose points over incorrect answer on the Matrigma. So, if you absolutely can't solve the question, simply guess and put it behind you. That's all about Matrigma for today, guys. I hope you've enjoyed and learned, now it's your turn to practice. Good luck!